Hello everyone, I'm your homeboy, Larry Ayila of the Art and Proud African LGBT. We are here at the Regent's Park, London. It's still nice and sunny. Um, I have a special guest this afternoon. She's a sister. Uh, we'll ask her to introduce us. My name is Teddy Nyakecho. Um, um, I'm from Uganda and I'm a, I'm a bisexual and I love who I am. It's, it's, I feel proud to be one. Glad to hear. Welcome to our show. I'm, I'm, I'm very uh, pleased to be here. Being a, a person who has come from a very strong religious family, um, it's, 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 it's I, you don't say it in public. You don't, you can't you say don't. it in public. So you kind of suppress yourself. <clears throat> you, you, suffer, you suppress that part of you and move along with everybody. Okay. That means you, uh, as a Ugandan bisexual uh, woman, you cannot express yourself. No, it's not acceptable. The community and the government, the state, they do not accept in Uganda. Yes, because you, 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 you just don't talk about certain things. Because one, you fear what will happen when people will hear what the real person you are. You are. And second, you, want, you feel like you want as well to blend in with the community, but there is this part of you that is you, that you're kind of in a dilemma of where to belong, who to be. You're all the time confused. It's, mm. it's, it's heartbreaking, really. It's unfortunate, Teddy. Sorry to hear that. I can see you are becoming emotional about that. But here we are in the UK. As a bisexual in the United Kingdom, What's your experience like? It has been awesome because I have met people whom I can openly say I am a bisexual. I can openly have a relationship that I've always wanted. And it's amazing to know that there's this freedom that is just, it's like a bird that has been released in the air and you're just flying in the blue, <laughs> you know? Glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. I can see the sharp contrast between sharing your experience back home and experience in the United Kingdom. I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm really happy. Um, Tell us, uh, how do you socialize? How do you do you in, how you do you interact with uh, people generally in the United Kingdom? What do you do at your spare time? I have groups that I belong to. One of which is Out and Proud. Okay. And every Saturday, we have a get together. We attend meetings, and okay. then we go to GAY. But Ever since the lockdown, it hasn't been like that. I'm going to get and, there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I have places where I volunteer. Okay. I go to volunteer and because of my mental health. My mental health wasn't really very good when I had arrived. Hmm. And uh, I had to get medical help, which I did. And I'm very happy that they helped me to... to see things, view things in, at a different point. Oh. Uh, I've been, I've been, I've, I've just been generally welcomed. Hmm. Well, we, we are glad to hear that you are getting the necessary support that you require. A lot of our guests have had different kind of experience during this uh, coronavirus pandemic lockdown. How has it been like? It's like 
being set free and then all of a sudden you are locked you can't do anything you your your hands are tied your feet are just super glued together and you just just can't do anything wow so what has been happening during this period how have you been coping at first it was really hard yes because I'm one person who likes to to talk to people I, I like to engage people in conversations find out what's going on uh, how can I help um, how 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 can I be of value to whoever that needs my help or, it's it, the, the, my social life was just shattered uh, but uh, I was blessed with wonderful people as well in my life and we've been able to uh, meet via Zoom, uh, attending meetings uh, with people online, out and proud. It brought some, some, some degree of comfort much as it, 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 it's not the same as how it would be when you go out to meet people. But I think that helped. Really helped, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know the Zoom meetings, the phone calls, and I know there is a Sunday service as yes, well, yes, via the Zoom yes. as well, you know. Yes. So, vis-a-vis, um, <clears throat> I want you to greet people in similar situation that you found yourself back home. I want you to say hello to them in your language back home. Can you do that for us? My mm. Uganda is not very good, but mm. I... Let's see how, how good it is. Okay. Uganda, uh, uh, Please don't suffer in silence. I'm trying to look for the right word. This is a very difficult time. Jolly. Uh, whatever the situation you're struggling with. Any difficulty, you know? It's telling better ya luvela. Fena, fena, fena. Tuina, echintoche, echita wanya. Mubula mo na ye. Don't lose hope. Togo amosubi. There is hope. You never know. And miracles do happen. I believe in miracles. Miracles do happen. And uh, uh, it's staying strong. And toki zavantu kute kawasi. Manyanti, there's hope. Why we're sorry? Maso, get together. Change is coming, and you must show that you really need this change. And it begins with you. So many people, Amantaba Singa, need change, but most times you have to stand up, say no to, to homophobia transphobia and it begins with you the human being vanga fena fena tuli tuli bantu and uh, um um i think that is it's all right. right well thanks thanks it's nice having you in our program what it literally means is that there is light at the end of the dark yes, tunnel. Yes, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, thank you very much.